Hey there, this is Jorik. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about mail and getting packages from friends and family, specifically from the United States here in Portugal. Uh, so thank you for checking out my channel. Please subscribe, uh, leave comments whether you like videos or not. Uh, I would love to get uh, some feedback to let me know what I can do differently or do better or give you more information. So uh, let's get on with it. Let's talk about getting uh, mail or packages from friends and family back home uh, in the United States. I'll throw in Canada because I have some Canadian friends here in Portugal as well. Uh, as a recommendation, I would say, uh, as well-meaning as we love getting uh, gifts around the holidays and letters and birthday gifts and whatnot, uh, don't do it. <laughs> uh, it's a pain in the ass, uh, and let me explain why. So let's talk about letters, uh, mailing letters to and from Portugal, and I'm going to talk to North America here. Um, mailing a letter uh, through the post office, uh, it can be a dollar to two dollars, so it's economical to do. It's going to take four to six weeks to get that letter. So if you are great at planning and time management and someone's birthday is two months uh, from now, you want to get that letter in the mail uh, if you're in Portugal. Same thing applies if you're in the United States or in Canada. You want to get the mail. Uh, if somebody has a May birthday, I'm doing this video March 1st, uh, you're going to want to put something probably this week in the mail as a happy birthday to make sure that somebody in Portugal gets it in time. So it takes four to six weeks, actually probably closer to five to seven weeks uh, to get mail correspondence, letters and documents um, to and from North America to Portugal. Um, now a way to expedite that is to not go through the post office uh, and go through well, if you're back in, in North America, going through the post office, but doing an expedited delivery. If it's a U.S. Postal Service, they can do priority mail, but you have to pay more to get that here. In that case, it can come within a week to two weeks. In Portugal, if let's say we were behind on sending a letter to someone, uh, we have taxes, we have other things that we have to file back in the U.S., uh, if we were going to do that, we wouldn't use the regular mail. We would go to a DHL, a UPS. Uh, they actually have mailboxes, etc. here. We would go here and pay uh, 20 to $30 to get it expedited to get that uh, letter or those documents shipped to North America within a week. They can go as early as two to three days. Uh, there isn't really an overnight option from Portugal. Uh, but that's how we would do it. So you just it costs a lot more to send letters um, and documents to and from to get them in a timely manner. Again, if you're great with time management, which I'm not, um, you can send stuff months in advance and it's no, no issues and uh, very cheap to do so. Now, packages. Um, so if you're sending uh, holiday gifts, birthday gifts, anniversary gifts to and from Portugal to North America, it's a big pain in the ass. Uh, there's just no two ways about it. Um, we've sent things from Portugal to the US. It's taken on upwards of six weeks based upon customs. Um, and it's costly to do. Uh, whether you're going through the post office, which creates uh, just more bureaucracy, or if you go through a UPS or DHL to try to expedite it, customs is the biggest curveball, and things could be sitting for weeks in customs. So what we've found when we've been in Portugal and we have uh, friends and family in North America, what we do is we just shop through Amazon. Uh, we buy most of our things or US-based companies that have an online service. So that way they get the present directly or the gift directly from the retailer as opposed to from us. Uh, that way it skirts uh, having to deal with customs uh, and all of that baloney that goes on with it. Uh, we have had a number of people send gifts to us, whether we knew about it or unbeknownst to us, uh, packages from North America to Portugal. And sometimes they will uh, send them and they'll go, hey, uh, Merry Christmas, uh, you know, hope you like the package. And we'll go, we haven't received the package. In fact, our first year here, we had two packages specifically that were sitting in customs and it took uh, six weeks and eight weeks for each of them to get delivered to us. And why I 
and I'm encouraging people that are in Portugal that have friends back in North America to use Amazon or other services, as well as if you're in the US or Canada and looking to buy or ship items to friends or family in Portugal, I highly recommend using Amazon UK, Spain, France, Germany, or some online company that is European based. So that way you don't have to deal with the customs because again, that's a curveball. whether it's going, which doesn't matter which way it's going across the Atlantic, uh, it creates an issue. One special kicker living in Portugal is as much as it's a very affordable country, uh, one place where they kind of stick you is in getting uh, packages through the post office after uh, Customs has uh, made sure that uh, it's a safe package to be delivered. Um, you will not get notification upon delivery, so you don't know when a package is coming. And when they deliver, they will ask for, they will make an assessment of taxes right then and there. So you may have a package that you have no idea what you're getting from your parents or your siblings or a cousin or a friend, and you have to determine what's inside. So you have to somehow communicate with them going, what did you send us? You also have to find out how much it's worth because the post office needs to know that. And then they assess a fee or a tax on top of that. So to give you an idea, we got some uh, items from one of our family members our first year here. It was about $60 worth of items. And we ended up paying $40 on top of that to the mail carrier. And the real uh, pain in the ass of it is it's cash at the time of delivery. So you don't know what you're paying uh, until they show up. So uh, a rule of thumb living in Portugal, we always have cash on hand, which uh, usually being from the US uh, and most of our friends living abroad are more cashless, just credit card only. Uh, we've learned to have cash uh, just because you never know with the delivery if there's some, some tax or some uh, excess fee that's been added to it. So that's something that if you're uh, wanting to send something, a package uh, to someone in Portugal from North America, it's well-intentioned and it makes a lot of sense and it makes you feel good, I'd say skip it. Uh, I would try to wait for them to, the, the people in Portugal to fly back to the US or to Canada to get the package or the delivery in person. Uh, just don't send anything because it's just, it's a pain, it's unpredictable. We've waited up to 10 weeks for one package that was sitting in customs. And then just out of the blue, we got a notice saying, you have a package in customs. It had already been there for six weeks. Uh, then we gave them information of which they delivered it uh, almost a month afterwards. So it's very unpredictable. Uh, it's not a bad thing. It's not something to rip on anybody, uh, mail system or government. It's just uh, the nature uh, and the nuance of living over here compared to let's say the UK or Germany where things might get through faster uh, or more economically. So note, point to ponder. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it's something that uh, as friends and family continue to want to send things our way, we try to be very uh, gracious about it and thank them for that, but we really don't want anything uh, just because um, it's very costly. It will cost us uh, uh, sometimes as much or more than what uh, the item uh, was for our friends or family to ship from North America to Portugal. And then uh, going the other way, uh, we are proponents of using online retail systems to get people the things that they need uh, without having anything sent specifically from Portugal, just because of the hassles and the pain that it causes. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please again, subscribe, uh, leave some comments for me if you've had a different experience with uh, letters and mailings uh, in Portugal back uh, to North America. I'd love to hear from you. So thank you so much and have a great day.